that note, it's time to drop in on the team that are pushing fossil fuel free electric motorbikes to the limit. The Impulse electric bike is almost ready for that first all important road test of the prototype. This test is way more important than just seeing if the batteries and electric motor work. This test is all about performance. A lot of the engineering challenges for a, for a bike like this is just that so much of it is brand new. So um, we have, have had to be careful picking our battles. Electric motors have been around for a long, long time, but the application of an electric motor in a, an electric motorcycle is all new. For this new design, research and development has been key. The motor itself in this bike, uh, which is this, this black uh, circular section here, is actually a structural element of the frame which uh, should be visible uh, from this CAD model. You can see that this, uh, this element of the chassis itself actually bolts directly to the motor and then the swing arm, the rear suspension of the bike, actually pivots on the motor itself. So the motor case is actually a load-bearing element of the chassis. The batteries are the bugbear for all electric vehicle manufacturers. Normal batteries lose their power as they drain, so they're only effective for about half of their charge. A lot of the work at this company has been to create a battery management system that keeps pushing out full power even as the batteries begin to discharge. The chemistries in the batteries are becoming more diverse and better, and the integration of those individual battery cells into bigger systems is becoming more understood. The balance between the batteries, the charging of the batteries, all of these things are now being rigorously tested through all the EV manufacturers. Like all electric vehicles, the Impulse has impressive low-end torque, 8.2 kilogram force meters. Most gasoline sports bikes have about 5.4 kilogram force meters of torque. You can blast off and rip through the corners like any high performance petrol bike. It has a top speed of 160 kilometers per hour with a range of also 160 clicks. That means you can break pretty much all international speed limits as long as you don't get caught. I would call the Impulse an electric super sport. Super bike is usually what uh, gas motorcyclists call a, a leader bike, which has uh, 1,000 cc, very, very high performance bike. While we're not quite there yet, I think we're making great strides towards that level of performance. The fact that you can actually coast off throttle um, because there's no compression braking due to the engine. so. You can, you can actually maintain quite a bit of speed even though you're not applying uh, a throttle input at that point. And the most exciting thing? <laughs> when you twist the throttle, so that's certainly the most exciting point. And a lot of people that have uh, ridden electrics compare it to like being in a, in a glider plane where you've got this kind of effortless propulsion. You don't get the vibration, you don't get the sound of a gas in an internal combustion engine. That's really a, a fantastic experience. We've got a very modular approach to our design, so as technologies improve, we'd also provide upgrade packages for existing customers so that they can enjoy the benefit of these new technologies that we've, we've developed. The bike has proven itself on the road. Now it's time to see how it does in the marketplace. What I'd do to have a go on one of those machines, a far cry from the early prototypes, it just goes to show what can be achieved with a little hard work and some good common science.